Before understanding how to escape a check bounce case, you should understand the fundamentals of a check bounce case. Now, check bounce case is fundamentally a money recovery case. It is a civil case. But the lawmaker or the parliament gave it a criminal flavor because it is affecting the business community. Mostly checks are issued in a business community. And the business community is getting choked. Indirectly, it is affecting the economy of the country. Because everybody is just issuing checks and uh, checks are getting bounced. And if civil case is filed, it will go on for years. Therefore, parliament came to a conclusion to give it a criminal flavor. So therefore, there must be two flavors in a check bounce case. One is a business flavor. The other is a criminal flavor. Now, when it is a business flavor, why it is called a business flavor, I will explain here because of the expression in section 138 of NA Act, which speaks about legally enforceable debt or liability. Now, what is legally enforceable debt? If you take a loan from somebody and then issue a check as a repayment, then it becomes a legally enforceable debt. You must take a loan by way of an account pay check. And you must give a check in return of repayment by way of an account pay check. Then it becomes a legally enforceable debt. If you take a loan by way of a cash and issue a check, it becomes an illegally enforceable debt. Because cash transactions above 20,000 are not permissible in India as per the RBI guidelines and income tax guidelines. So therefore, legally enforceable debt must be there. One. The second is there can be legally enforceable liability. <clears throat> now, what is a liability? If a service is taken from somebody and you issue a check, then it becomes a legally enforceable liability or any other form. I am giving the one example as a service. It can be goods also. Whenever you purchase goods also, there could be a liability. So there should be a loan or there should be supply of goods or there should be supply of service. Then the expression legally enforceable debt or liability attracts. Now all the factors that surrounds the legally enforceable debt or liability is nothing but a business factor. So therefore, business factor is a factor which should be available in the averment in the check bounce case. It has to be specifically averred, specifically alleged that there is a business transaction between two persons. One. And the second is the expression legally enforceable debt or liability must be pleaded. Without that, the case will be thrown out. Now, how to escape a check bounce case? One of the, there are many grounds. Here the topic of this video is, if the check is given for a charity purpose, then there will be no check bounce case. I am giving the decision of uh, the High Court, Andhra High Court, in the description, kindly go through it. So, as I had earlier informed you, there should be a business transaction. Now, charitable purpose, that is if a check is issued for the purpose of a gift or a present or a donation, it is a purpose of charity. Then there is no business transaction. Therefore, check bounce case is not maintainable. Criminal flavor cannot be attracted. So the remedy, if the purpose of giving a check is a gift or a present or a donation, is to go for a civil case. Then it becomes a pure civil case. So fundamentally what we can understand from this uh, decision and the intent of section 138 of Negotiable Instrument Act is that criminal flavor was given because it is a business transaction. If it is not a business transaction, there is no criminal flavor. So criminal flavor and business transaction both go hand in hand. If it is for the purpose of a charitable purpose, then it is a simple civil case. Okay. Hope I am clear. Thank you. Thanks for watching.